This is our Harlequin roach enclosure. So the basic needs of the Harlequin roach are that they have a wet substrate and then a drier upper level where they can thrive. So they need to have that drier upper level in order to thrive. Uh, if the whole thing is very humid and wet, they will not do well. Um, as you can see, these are very happy roaches running around. The way we achieve the drier level is to put some nice sized logs in here. We wet the substrate, have part of, part of the substrate dry so that the, uh, the, the, the humidity in the air is lessened. And then over top of the logs, we place egg crate and that keeps them, that creates a drier upper environment that they need to thrive and to breed. And you can see these guys are pretty happy. Now they can climb. Uh, obviously, most roaches can climb wood and egg crates, but these guys could climb plastic, smooth surfaces, but they really don't. Um, they, they don't like to. They'd rather just stay on their logs and hide, which is fine. Uh, they get to be kind of friendly over time, uh, and they'll eat almost right out of your hands if they're hungry. And uh, as you can see, I'm disturbing this place, and this guy is eating fish food, and he doesn't even care that I'm here. So it's a great roach. Some of the other things that they need is uh, they, they need to have it warm. So 75 to 85 degrees is what they need to thrive and to breed. We always keep cricket crystals, uh, water crystals in their enclosure with them too to help the humidity. They love carrots, as you can see. They also love bananas and things like that. But fish food, fish food flakes, the cheap, Tetrafin, goldfish flakes, those are their favorites. And that's it. So that's a harlequin roaches, and that's how you care for them. Thank you.